Hi everyone, my name is Eva Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can call me on any of these numbers, okay? Today I'm going to be showing you how to actually come about your strip footing using a proto structure. Okay, let's jump right into it. Now, this is uh, this design. Uh, let me switch to story zero. Now, at this story, what I need to do now is to introduce a ground beam. Uh, so, let's say this beam is 230 by the depth of this beam, let's say 400, or let me leave it at 500. Uh, I'm going to highlight and I'll drop. Okay, so I've inserted this beam. Uh, the next thing I need to do is to just highlight on the beam I want to insert my strip. So if I highlight on this and I right click, uh, all I need to do is to come here and click on insert. Uh, okay. Insert, insert strip footing. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, click on insert strip 14. Okay, so here now, uh, I will click on, I will check design envelope and then the cantilever here, let's say 600, uh, 600. So uh, the width of the footing, let's say is 1,200 and then the depth of the footing, uh, let's say I want this to flush with the ground beam, so I'm going to make it 500, okay, so I click on design. Now you can see it's showing us the bending moment and then the shear force diagram. You can see this is column one, column three, column six, column eleven. That uh, this strip footing is carrying this number of columns one, two, three, four. And this is the shear, and then this is the bending uh, moment. Okay. So if I click on OK and I click on OK here. Uh, you can see that that footing has been introduced okay so similarly I can do for these beams that are here as well uh, filter deselect select beam okay insert strip footing so uh, the same way all I need to do is to type in whatever is the value for my cantilever, the width of my footing, the depth of the footing as well. And then I will just click on design, click on OK, and I click on OK. Uh, that footing has been introduced as well. So let's do that for all our external beams. Um, so footing okay so if i want to introduce a tapper height i can just type in that value here but i wouldn't do that uh my weeks are 1200 uh let me use 600 then 600 okay click on design click on okay click on okay uh, I will do for the beams here. Design envelope six hundred six 
hundred, one thousand two hundred, five hundred. Design. Click OK. Click OK. Okay. Uh, let me try to select this. Uh, hold on. Control. Select this. See if I can have that here. Uh, beam selected for being used in strip must be aligned and have same section dimension. Strip footing cannot be inserted. Okay. Um, I'll have to go in this way. So similarly for every other beam that I want to introduce this footing for, okay, I can just introduce that um, footing with 1,200, 500, and I click on OK. Click on design, click on this, click on OK. Alright, let's view this in 3D so you can see what we have here. Okay. So the opacity here can be changed. Uh, as you can see, if I don't want it to show like this, all I need to do, let me reselect all here come back to view sorry display I come to my layer settings okay I'll just go down to my foundation uh, this hard share okay can increase this and I click on OK. You can see it has increased. Okay, so that is that. It's very easy, very simple as you can see. So uh, you can do that similarly for these other beams here if you want. Okay, if you love what you are seeing, make sure that you like this video. Just give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, it's actually 100% free. Click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever I post videos. I post videos like this on a weekly, sometimes on a daily, just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight in design, okay? Uh, make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay blessed.